Welcome back gamers to another Fallout New Vegas, crawl out to the Fallout Friday Let's Play brought to you by EDE, Veronica, Blackfire Virus, and Delilah. In this episode, we're starting off kind of different just because in the middle of my setup for this episode, EDE started talking. So, we're going to start at this point right now. Then, after we hear EDE start talking, we're going to head and pick up Veronica because I dismissed her from my party because I thought we wouldn't need her, but we do. So, for our main mission, we're going to be talking to EDE, then heading to do some Crimson Caravan shit at Fort McCarran, then heading to the Strip. So, strap in for this apocalyptic adventure, gamers. Are you there? Oh, right. You can't respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. I've picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. And right now, we are just heading out to pick up Veronica, because we need her for this episode. What's up? Let's go make trouble. Now let's hit up Fort McCarran from Scavenger's Farm.
Alright, so that explains why my guidance system was fucked. And that's just because... Next time we stop, I should organize our medical supplies. It's the apocalypse. I don't know why they explain it. My guidance system is fucked, so I'm just gonna follow along the road until I find an entrance. Pretty sure the entrance to McCarran is this way. If not, I'll oh fuck. Sorry about that. I got turned around ever since I went to third. I don't know how, it just happened. Alright gamers, so this is the true entrance from Camp McCarran. And apparently the one that it was sending me to was in the middle of the farm. Don't know why, I just gotta check out my quests. It says that's gonna camp McCarran. Apparently, she's a way the fuck over there. Don't know why. I was hoping there'd be more candy. There's a lot more troops here than we thought. No wonder we couldn't hold Helios 1. Hey, you got a second? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. Thanks, thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously. Thank you. 
A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Yes. Goodbye. We still need a contractor. Hey. I'm going to be doing a bit of fast traveling in this just to make the travel shorter. Pretty sure you don't want to see me running around just shooting shit in the face. Even though I already shot it in the face and it's probably not going to respawn. No clue where they're going. Let's just let them enjoy their fun. And let's head into Freeside. for all your shopping needs. I really like what they're doing here. This place is really doing some good for New Vegas.
Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? Hmm. Well, I suppose we could always use another junior archivist in the library. All right. Tell him we'll accept him as a probationary initiate. Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community, if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. The big man around here is the King. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Great! What do you have? How much do you have to donate? Thanks. Anything else? Thanks for the donation. Every bit goes toward helping Freeside. Hey, good to see you. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher, not even a particularly good one. Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Hmm. That seems appropriately resolute and yet vague. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and go with you, but let me be clear about something. 
If you plan to help Caesar's Legion, this is going to be a brief relationship. I may not have all the answers for how to fix Freeside's problems, but Caesar taking control isn't part of the solution. Fair? There's something about that robot that doesn't seem... all right to me. I'm not saying we shouldn't take it with us. I'm just saying that if it were to fall into Lake Mead and be irreparably damaged, and if you threw an EMP grenade in after it, well, there are worse things happening in the world, right? It just seems a little twitchy. Some of these robots, you look at them the wrong way, don't screw in a vacuum too bright. The next thing you know, you're a pile of ash on the floor and someone's stepping out of a vertebrate to sweep your remains into a Nuka-Cola bottle. Does it? Does it? What's your problem, lady? You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was gonna turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? Bye. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop, if there's something in it for me. Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Later. What's up? Why does everyone always say... Okay, then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. Sorry, I felt a little overpopulated by having four members, not just three. Hello. So you're back. Got any chems for me yet? What? I need a fix now! Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. I think you're right. I've been through worse. I'll go to the fort and see if the followers can watch over me while I recover.
What's up? It could be better. If we can find a way to work toward the independence of New Vegas, that would be ideal. But really, as long as you don't help out the Legion, anything's better than that. I'm really very boring. You'd get better stories out of a freeside junkie. Oh, all right. I'm 30-ish. Well, late 30s. I was born west of here. I was an only child and spent most of my time with my mother. My father died when I was young and I never got over it. Oh, and I like medicine and reading books about failed pre-war socioeconomic policies. Right now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, why hasn't some lucky man scooped this bachelor off his feet? Like I said, I'm boring. Some people do. I just don't. Look, I appreciate that you're trying to be friendly, but I'd just rather not discuss it. I'm... No, really. Have you ever snorted a ground-up Cazador venom sack? Neither have I. But I can guarantee you that a freeside junkie has. Only to obfuscate my past association with a fascist paramilitary organization. I'm joking, of course. I will deflect personal questions at any opportunity. Honestly, it isn't too difficult if you have half a brain and aren't a complete jerk. I wanted to help people and I enjoyed learning, so I signed up. New Vegas is in trouble, so I came out here. If someone doesn't step up and try to help the people here, it's going to end very badly. The followers taught me everything I know about medicine. Despite our humble abode here in New Vegas, we have great facilities back in the NCR. We may have overextended ourselves by setting up camp and Freeside, but the people here need help from someone. If not us, who? All right. Come on, man, I'm dying here. Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons. You clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. That's a lot of energy weapons. Brings back some interesting memories. Oh, uh, of hearing stories about energy weapons. They're. Pretty crazy. Yeah. What's up? See you around. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. 
Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Of course. Morning. Hey, good to see you. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the Apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Sure. Would you like a stim pack, fixer, or rat away? You'll need to wait another 24 hours for us to get more made. We need everything else we currently have. Alright gamers, so at this point in the gameplay, it's kind of necessary for me to use fast travel. So I'm going to utilize it as much as I can and uh, cuts back in our video time and shit like that. So strap in and enjoy this apocalyptic ve ah! adventure still gamers while I throw myself off cliffs.
So gamers, I'm only out here for arcade gammons. I don't know mission. There's a vertebrate out here that if I go near, he'll have a little speech, and uh, I'll be able to proceed in his uh, upgrade. And upgrading our uh, companions is always good, gamers.
Nuclear waste disposal. Pre-war. People think there was so much desert in Nevada. Might as well turn it into a big dump. People didn't like it. They weren't about to give up easy access to power. Hey, you need something? Okay, did you find one? What's up? What a shame. Interesting. It's been a long time since I've seen one of these. Huh. Good question. Must have been in a book. What's up? It could be better. Alright gamers, this is where I'm going to draw today's episode to a close. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fallout New Vegas Let's Play, the Crawl Out the Fallout Friday series, brought to you by Blackfire Virus, EDE, Delilah, and this time, Arcade Ganon, our newest follower, our newest companion, our newest follower, uh, our, our newest follower, and our newest companion. Nothing I've said in when the past. When I was a kid, Dad told me the I legend of Dead Eye Cedric. Cedric had lost both eyes, but he could hit a bottle cap in midair with his hunting rifle. 
Thank you, Delilah. So, if you enjoyed this uh, Let's Play, please hit that like and subscribe button down below to Pete's YouTube and Gamer Gods. And uh, stay tuned for more Let's Plays brought to you by us in the future. Later, gamers.